Okay, so what I'm working on is I'm building a tire carrier for my utility trailer. Utility slash log trailer. Uh, you'll see. It'll be a separate video. Um, to do that, I need to cut out a mounting plate for the spare tire. And what I want to do is have that be a nice, clean, and easy cut all the way around. I don't really have a good uh, blade for my jigsaw to do that. And this is 3 16 plate. That would take forever. I don't have a CNC table any of these other things but I do have a plasma cutter now I could just draw the line and just carefully go around but I have shaky hands and so I'd end up with a wavy edge which I'd prefer to not have true nobody will ever see it. it'll it be behind the spare but I have an I think a really easy way to get a nice circle and so I'm gonna show you that idea when I put my template down, there's uh, four holes that I marked here. Only one of these matters for what we're going to do, and that's the center point. I'm basically going to use almost like a trammel arm uh, as a circle cutting jig for my plasma cutter to guide me along and get me a smoother cut. So I've just used center punch to mark that, and you can see that here. So to do this, I think this, this would vary a little depending on the type of plasma cutter that you have. Mine has a drag shield, which means it can be in direct contact with the steel. Um, some plasma cutters, you just have to hold it above uh, and you can't let it contact or you'll short. You'd have to take a slightly different approach if you were going that way, but this is what I have. This is how we're gonna do it. So what we're gonna use is I have a piece of aluminum flat bar uh, that looks about 3 16 and maybe inch and a quarter inch and a half somewhere in there for this one I'm just gonna cut a piece about 12 inches long you could go any length that you want really it just needs to be at least as long as the radius of the circle plus a little plus a little bit on either edge we need to have room to have some sort of a center holder go through it which in my case is just gonna be a, a screw with one end sharpened and then we need to drill a hole that is the right size for the drag shield to go through. So I need to measure that. I'm guessing that's about half an inch, five eighths, somewhere in there. All right, so let's get this cut. Since I'm just using aluminum for this, I could just go cut it on the chop saw, but the chop saw is put away. We're getting ready to move and I'm already at the plasma table. So I'm just gonna use my modified speed square. There is a separate video about this. I'll link to that makes this super easy, accurate, and quick. Okay, next we need to lay out where we're going to be drilling and all of that. Try to make this somewhat consistent. Let's see. Yeah, it is inch and a quarter, so I want to do a center line at about five eighths and I'm just using the scribe from my carpenter square and I'm just using the scribe from my square here doesn't really need to be exact but okay and we need to drill our holes now as far as getting the distance between these two holes I need today I'm basically, I'm just gonna pick an end to put this in, my drag shield, and then from that center point back, whatever the, the radius of that circle is, is where I'm gonna drill that hole. A couple things to account for in doing that is the plasma cutter isn't like a laser cutter. It, it does have a kerf. Um, this, the fit on this isn't critical, so I'm not too worried about it. I think mine, has a kerf of somewhere between a 32nd and a 16th, somewhere in there. Um, but I'm just gonna pretend it's it's a laser line. I'm not gonna worry about it. But if the fit of, of the circles you're cutting is critical, that is something to keep in mind. Okay, I'm gonna measure the diameter of, and then when you're messing around with this, it's probably best to have your plasma cutter off just in case, um, but I'm gonna measure the diameter of this part of the drag shield because you don't want to have just this part in like buried in the aluminum because these channels that you see here though it needs those for the dross and the air and, and all of that to escape otherwise you're going to cause damage to the uh, electrode and such 
So instead of having this just fit there, I'm going to have it fit on this. And oh, I had a good guess. It is 5 eighths. So I think I'm going to come in about an inch or so from the end. Mark that and so I can see it better. And then for the circle, my radius is about four inches. I need to come down five inches since I came in an inch there. So I'm going to go ahead and mark every inch so I can use this for more than just this one project. And just to help make sure I don't slip, center punch critical ones. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and center punch all of them. So what I'm going to do first is drill and tap the hole that I need for my center point. And the device I'm going to use to hold the center point is just some of these 3 16 eye bolts. So I'm going to need about a 10, I think it's a 1024 for this to fit. If I remember right, they're not an exact match, but they should be close enough in aluminum that it'll work. But basically, I'm going to drill and tap the hole, and then I'm going to use this screw, or sorry, I'm going to use this nut as basically as a set screw, once it's threaded, to go through and lift this off of the cutting, the surface that's going to be cut, whatever height it needs to be to have this plate sit up in here so that we're level across. I'm going to take this to the bench grinder and kind of twist it and grind a point. But I'm going to drill that hole first. I'm trying out one of these Milwaukee drill and tap combos. I've never used one before. thought this would be a good project to try that out on. to drill a 5 8 hole here and get this ground to a point. All right, we have the two that we need. These other ones I'm not going to worry about for now. I can always add those later. So this fits. It's got a little bit more wiggle room than I wanted, um, but for this, I think it'll be fine. Screw now has the point. I didn't record this because the place where my angle grinder is, it isn't a very good spot for filming. Now, show you the idea. And I haven't figured out yet how high this needs to be from the work surface. So for now, we're just gonna guess. That looks good. And I'll just tighten that nut down a little bit. All right, so basically what we do is, there's our center hole. We line that point up with that center punch mark. This guy in. Oh yeah, I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but we're right where we want it. So that cut out pretty darn well. Here's the final product in place. 
uh, ready to go, more or less. It still needs to be painted, but you can see that circle jig did a pretty decent job cutting this circle out. I did have to clean it up with the grinder a little bit, but it's doing its job. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If not, do whatever you want. <laughs> and if you want to see more of the stuff I do in my shop, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.